hello everyone welcome to our channel fusion station i hope you are doing awesome let's dive into this video okay so in our last video we configured the ha using uh, quick mode if you have not uh, watched that video i will provide the video link in the description so you can just go through that video to understand uh, how we configure it uh, in this video, we are going to configure it uh, using the interactive mode and we will also cover what is the difference between the quick mode and the HA mode. So here you can see that we have two firewalls. Uh, this one is the primary and here is the auxiliary firewall. So in this primary firewall, uh, you can see that uh, we are getting these options to select the role, uh, primary auxiliary or primary active active and uh, the same you can check the status on the auxiliary we have not configured uh, uh, the auxiliary one as yet but uh, here the primary and the auxiliary host names just uh, uh, i have mentioned for your understanding which firewall is going to act as primary and which is going to act as auxiliary firewall okay uh, let's navigate to the primary firewall uh, here you just need to select the, the device role first so on this primary we will select as primary and under this HA configuration mode uh, in the previous video we configured it using a quick HA mode but now we are going to configure it as an interactive mode so here you notice that uh, after selecting this interactive mode we, we started getting multiple options to uh, define all these parameters so we will discuss each parameter one by one all right uh, let's start with our first parameter that is cluster id so by default it is zero and its range is between uh, i mean it range starts from zero to 63 whatever the value you want you can define under this range and uh, the role of this cluster id is just like for example if you have four firewalls in your network and uh, for first two firewalls you have mentioned the cluster id zero but and in case of uh, the second two firewalls you can define the cluster id as one but you cannot keep the cluster id same for two different clusters if you will keep the cluster id same in that case it may conflict with this virtual mac address because uh, whenever the ha cluster would be generated uh, there virtual MAC address would be generated based on this cluster ID. So whatever the cluster ID you will define for each cluster, their uh, virtual MAC address would be generated based on it. Okay, our next option is node name. Uh, by default, it is node one, but uh, as per your requirement, you can define any name. So whatever the name you will define after establishing the HA, the same node name would appear on this unit. Uh, then we have the option for pass phrase so by default it is there we are not going to change it so it would be used to establish the ha and uh, then after we have the dedicated ha link so here you can select the port number for the ha so whatever the port uh, you will select over here the same port would be dedicatedly used for the ha but we cannot use that port for other purposes like for lan or any other van port uh, communication then we have the option of a dedicated peer HA link. Uh, so for example, on, on this unit, we have defined the IP address on this dedicated HA link is 192.168.1.1. And under the dedicated peer HA link, you can define uh, the same subnet, but the different IP. For example, uh, 192.168.1.2. You can define any IP, but the IP address should be in the same subnet range that we have configured on the primary then we have uh, select ports to be monitored. So this ports uh, you can select is just to perform the failover. For example, uh, we want to, uh, we have selected the port B. This is the WAN interface. If due to any reason, if WAN interface goes down, then the HA failover will happen and our auxiliary firewall will act as a uh, primary firewall unit to, perf uh, to forward the traffic. Then here we have the peer admin IP settings. So this peer administration IP settings uh, you can define to access the auxiliary firewall. So whatever the IP you will define, uh, the same IP address would be used to access the auxiliary firewall. 
here we have the option for the preferred primary device so let's say if uh, the primary goes down and auxiliary takes the charge to forward the traffic but uh, after a few minutes the primary comes back and if we have selected this primary firewall units uh, under this option then again this primary uh, device will act as a main firewall then we have the keep alive request interval so it means uh, the this primary firewall will continuously send the request to its peer ip uh, after every 250 milliseconds to check its status whether that device is reachable or not and this keep alive attempt define that uh, uh, if the if we do not get the response uh, after 16th attempt then the device would be considered as failure and the, the status of this primary firewall unit will change from primary to standalone so all these were the parameters uh, that you will get uh, using the interactive mode now we are going to configure the ha and uh, we'll configure each parameter one by one okay so before uh, starting the configuration uh, let me show you the interface status of both the firewalls so on this primary unit i have three ports a for lan b for van and c for ha and the same interface status you can see on the auxiliary a for LAN, B is not configured yet, and C for HA connectivity. So on primary firewall, uh, let's navigate to services, then HA. And this and this firewall is going to act as a primary. We have selected as primary here. And for the HA configuration mode, we are going to configure it using the interactive mode, then select interactive. So uh, we have two firewalls only so we can just go with the cluster ID as zero node name one you can define as any uh, but uh, we are just going with the default configuration password would be the same uh, dedicated HA we are gonna use this one uh, that is port C the dedicated peer HA link IP address so that part you can confirm it over here we are using this IP for the dedicated HA link so the same IP we can define in the primary. Select ports to be monitored. So currently we are not going to monitor any ports. And then after define the peer admin IP address. So, so this firewall is going to be accessible through our LAN. So for the LAN connectivity, you can see that we have the port A, uh, which is in the same subnet range, but the different IP. So this IP we need to define. Uh, under the peer admin settings preferred primary uh, you can select this node one and keep rest of the setting as it is right. then just navigate to auxiliary firewall uh, navigate to system services here we will select the auxiliary firewall interactive then here select a dedicated link as HA link that is port C if you wish uh, you want to change the uh, note name you can change it over here otherwise you can go with the default one uh, make sure the passphrase are showing same on both the firewalls otherwise it may not establish the HA so first initiate the HA on this auxiliary and just click save Here you can see that we are getting the message uh, it has been applied successfully you can now enable HA from the primary device so now go to primary then initiate the HA on the auxiliary firewall you can see that now we are not able to access any option here and uh, it is still showing as processing it means uh, HA process already in the uh, establishment state. So here we will have to wait for a few minutes. Okay, so on the primary one, you can see that uh, HA has been enabled successfully. Currently, this firewall is acting as a standalone and the another one is showing as not available. So here uh, we just need to keep uh, one thing in our mind. Whenever we configure the HA, uh, 
<clears throat> it uh, synchronized the configuration from uh, primary to uh, auxiliary firewall so that is why it takes time and uh, that is the reason the the node 2 is showing the status as not available so we will check the status after a uh, few minutes and see whether it is showing as primary auxiliary or not okay so here you can see that uh, our ha has been established successfully uh, where node 1 is acting as a primary and node 2 is acting as an auxiliary firewall and at the same time you can see that we are getting the ping response from both the ips and here you can see 2.100 which is uh, node 1 ip address uh, we are getting the ping response and uh, 2.200 belongs to the auxiliary one and we are also getting the response from that firewall and similarly we can check the status on this uh, auxiliary firewall uh, which is node 2 here you can see so this node 2 <clears throat> is acting as uh, auxiliary and the node 1 is acting as a primary firewall so this way you can uh, set up the HA using the interactive mode and uh, the only difference is that uh, when you configure it using the quick mode you don't need to configure uh, much as compared to interactive but uh, if your requirement is uh, specific in terms of uh, more firewalls of, or you want to select some monitoring ports at the time of uh, HA setup so then you can go with the interactive mode and always remember one thing uh, whenever you configure the firewall in active passive using the interactive mode always uh, set up the auxiliary firewall first then after uh, go with the primary firewall and it is just only the recommendation but uh, you can also check with the primary first there is no issue with that so while setting the app uh, if you need any uh, assistance in terms of uh, the parameters that we have uh, available for example node name dedicated edge link if you are not able to recall what is the meaning of uh, this of this particular field that we have so you just simply need to click this uh, help button it will automatically redirect you to the documentation page of uh, the HA setup or wherever you are in the configuration part. So we were in the HA configuration. Once we click on help section, it automatically redirect you to the HA configuration page where you can just uh, check all the options to uh, to get the meaning of uh, each parameter that we have i hope uh, you found this video helpful in case if you have any query just uh, drop your query in the comment section and stay tuned for the upcoming videos and i have already made a video how to disable it and uh, how to check what parameters we need to consider before disabling ha uh, you can check that video as well i will mention the video link in the description so stay tuned for the next video till then take care of yourself have a great day goodbye